good morning everybody uh, sorry that I posted a video in Swedish yesterday uh, for you who got offended but that uh, grow some balls uh, I just left a little quick update about my current living situation and my uh, private stuff not the private stuff but you know my personal <laughs> personal stuff and um, for you who has been following me now for some years you know that uh, I got laid off because I openly spoke my opinions and discussed facts um, before uh, media and uh, more established political parties started debating and discussing the stuff I did and uh, for the last three years I have been uh, a paria uh, and I, I haven't been able to get a job uh, I have been struggling hard financially uh, I've been struggling hard uh, mentally uh, I have had uh, times where I have thought about ending my life uh, because I couldn't provide for my kids I couldn't I, got, I didn't get help from society, my family was kind of uh, ignoring me and uh, didn't really understand or really didn't care what was going on. Uh, some of you stepped in and helped me out by uh, using PayPal and Patreon and uh, helped me out economically and uh, for all you I just want to say uh, thank you because if it wasn't for you I wouldn't be here today also I now have gotten a job uh, not really a real job but I have a, a place I can go to every day uh, I can feel needed I can do a difference I uh, earn some money it's not much but I can pay for my my house, I can pay for food and I can put clothes on my kids and uh, this is uh, quite overwhelming and uh, I'm still in, in Sweden it's kind of if you go talk to a therapist or you go to a psychologist and, and speak about your problems and try to deal with your emotions and what struggles you have within, it's considered to be a bad thing and you consider to be a, a weak person. I know that's the difference in the US, but here in Sweden it's considered that you are weak and you have some kind of mental illness if you go to a therapist or a psychologist. But um, it helps me uh, to sort out my thoughts, it helps me to focus on the right things and uh, I was really looking forward to start 2019 uh, as a family uh, where we both have jobs so we can start living like a normal couple once again. Uh, but as you know uh, a few days before Christmas, a few weeks before Christmas, uh, my lady since 12 years uh, told me she wanted to leave and she gave some bogus reasons and a um, few days before Christmas we, uh, we found out actually why we have struggled so hard for the last 10 years, why I have felt like we don't connect to each other, um, basically why we don't, yeah, why, why we don't connect. And uh, apparently she has a personality disorder that makes it impossible for her to connect emotionally to people in her closest surroundings like me, her mother, and um, she has closer relationships and feelings to strangers. So now we're moving apart. Um, she 
she leaves January or February the 1st um, she don't want to solve these problems together with me uh, she rather flee and tries to battle her demons by herself uh, it sucks uh, 12 years two kids and to find out that uh, somebody you have lived with and uh, have tried to give one the world uh, has the same kind of feelings as she has for the vacuum cleaner uh, it sucks and uh, <laughs> yeah it uh, yeah it sucks uh, but um, I'm, I'm kind of cool with it because now I know that even if I should have taken down the moon, if I should have built her a new Taj Mahal, she wouldn't have been affected by it because uh, she's afraid. And the thing is with her, she's afraid to get hurt. She's afraid to get re uh, reacted. And that's why she doesn't connect feelings to her partner uh, or to her anybody in her closest uh, closest uh, surroundings because she doesn't want to get hurt and she's afraid to feel and uh, I feel sorry for her um, and I've told her that I'm supporting her uh, I will help her through this uh, just give me time to fix my financial status so I can live by myself with the kids um, she gave me three weeks so um, that's basically what I was talking about yesterday and uh, now a new chapter starts in my life and uh, as Rocky says it doesn't matter how many times you get hit down it's how many times you stand up and uh, I'm getting kind of tired of hearing that and uh, I'm getting kind of tired to constantly have to battle basically because I spoke my mind and discussed facts and stats and have used common sense and logic and uh, I see criminals as criminals no matter what kind of religion or color of skin you have uh, but apparently in Sweden if you criticize rapists, gang rapists, murderers and pedophiles you're considered to be a racist, even if you haven't spoken about race or religion. You just criticize behavior, you criticize events, you criticize actions. So, um, if you have time, if you have a few dimes to spare, um, please uh, help out the guy in need. As I said, I'm soon back up, I'm providing by myself. So. If you have some chance, use PayPal uh, or patreon.com dash POF as pissed off father. And uh, Patreon is alexanderson13 at hotmail.com. I will text it in the description of this video as well. So, one battle ends, another one starts. Um, the good thing is my health is getting back and uh, now I just need to take care of this family situation and um, a final thing regarding the border wall that Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton wanted to fund in the early 2000s but that now is considered to be racist to put up a wall on the southern border does not make you hate Mexicans it doesn't make you hate anybody except criminals I know many of you say that President Donald Trump said that all Mexicans are rapists and murderers but he has never said it um, the fact is that a lot of drugs rapists, murderers and gang rapists comes in through 
the southern border. They go through Mexico to get into the US. Walls are built to protect people you love, to prevent predators, to prevent criminals and bad people to get a hold of you and to be able to hurt you. That's why house was built from the beginning. That's why we stopped living in caves. That was why we stopped living in tents. Because we needed big solid walls to protect our family from the bad people. That is not a racist thing. To build a wall to protect the ones we love, no matter the color of their skin. That's not racism. To prevent criminals, drugs and other shit to come into your country that kills the ones you love. That is to take responsibility. To build a wall to protect good things from bad things. It's common sense. And I don't understand how come every time the Democrats has an idea it's good and when Republicans say the exact same thing it's racism. Grow the fuck up.